Hey everybody, this is Jim at sp500chart.com. It's kind of late here on uh, uh, December 9th, 2013. Apologize for that, but my schedule just means it's got to be this way. <clears throat> and it will also be kind of similarly late, but maybe not quite as much so with tomorrow's video as well. Um, we, we really don't have anything new, I don't think. To, uh, to discuss. Yesterday's video really sort of would, would be almost a repeat of what I would say today. Um, and that is very simple. If the S&P can get over this previous high up here around 1813 and track a decent amount higher than that level for a couple of days, then I think there's a good chance we could see the S&P stay underneath this broken support line, which now should be resistance, yet still set um, significant new highs. Uh, so really, all I've got to go on here is what we talked about yesterday, and that is we've got some trend lines. We don't have any real clear patterns this, you know, you might make the case that this is kind of that sort of the same incomplete inverted head and shoulders pattern that we saw back in uh, the latter to middle to latter part of November. But, uh, you know, I don't have a super strong feeling about patterns that are only two thirds of what they should be. So that said, I believe if and when the S&P reaches this green line, it should be resistance. Um, this line should be support. This line should be support. And if we break 1778, let's call it, at a point at which we also fail to make a new high at 1813, then we zoom out a little bit and we're looking at a head and shoulders top, okay? The way this could get saved would be for the S&P to just power on up, set a new high over this level of the head of what may or may not be a head and shoulders top. So guys, that's I think that's pretty much the long and short of it. The, uh, the S&P traded in a short range, in a very narrow range today, and uh, that's typically indicative of some consolidation. Um, if we draw a trend line under our last three very, very short-term lows, we see, we see that they line up nicely, and really all that tells me at this point is that the move that started after we gapped up on last Friday is happening under a fairly in a fairly controlled manner. This this doesn't look like people just going hog wild necessarily chasing, but it looks like, you know, the market just wants to, to, to truck on higher. So let's watch it um, tomorrow and for the rest of the week. And again, just to reiterate, the danger zone, if you're a bull, would be if this neckline breaks down here at 1778. The danger line, if you're a bear and you're short right now, would be if we break and close over that 1813 high. Because if that were to happen, then that is a, should be a clear signal that the S&P wants to go higher. So guys, I think I'm going to just let that be it for, uh, for today's video. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have a little bit more time to spend a little bit more time on things. And perhaps tomorrow uh, we'll have uh, a little bit more to look at. Just... Uh, Let's extend this line here too. It is above the green line for the next couple of days, but this could also come into play um, either later in this week or possibly early next week. So for right now, if there's a line, 
above us, it's resistance. If there's a line below us, it's support. So guys, that's your video for December 9th, 2013. Let's see if this ends up being a head and shoulders top or if this pattern ends up getting saved and we come back and we look at this uh, period here of about four days of selling as being nothing but a bull flag. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit longer video tomorrow because I'll have more time to get it done. Thanks.